Hey guys, this is my Samsung Galaxy S23. And yes, it's running One UI 7 based on Android 15. Now I know what you're thinking. Is it even possible to root this latest version? And the answer is yes. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how to root any Samsung device running One UI 7 and Android 15. But first, let's confirm that root access is not enabled yet. So I'll open the root checker app. As you can see, this device is not rooted yet. Let's also confirm by opening Magisk app. See, Magisk is also not installed either. Now the first step to root a Samsung device on One UI 7 is downloading the correct firmware. So let's switch over to the PC screen and I'll show you how to do that. On your PC, open any browser and go to the website samfw.com. Here we need to enter the IMEI number or the serial number of your device. To find it, just open your settings, then tap on About Phone. Right here, you'll see the serial number. And as you can see, this is mine. Let me quickly enter my serial number here. Once it's entered, just click on the button that says Check Information and Firmware. Now you'll see all the info about your device, like the model number, region, activation date, and more. Just scroll down a bit and you'll find button to download the firmware as per region. Just click on it. Pay extra attention here. This is the most important part. Check the firmware version carefully. It needs to match your phone's build number. To find your build number, click on software information and look for the build number. Make sure this build number matches the version listed on the site. Since we're already on the latest version, the matched version is right at the top. Once you find the correct version, just click on it to download the firmware. Since I already have the same firmware downloaded, I'm going to skip the download process for now. Once the firmware is downloaded, extract it, then grab the Samsung USB drivers and Odin tool from the description below. After downloading, extract both zip files as well. Now first, install the Samsung USB drivers. This is important so that Odin can detect your phone properly. The installation is super simple. Just follow the on-screen instructions and keep clicking Next. The drivers are already installed on my PC, so I'll just cancel the setup. Once that's done, you can go ahead and delete the zip files to keep things clean. Next, we need to copy the AP file from the firmware to our phone. So grab your USB-C cable, connect your device, and let's move AP file to the Samsung phone. Once the AP file is copied to your phone, we need to patch it using Magisk. So open the Magisk app, then tap on Install. Next, tap on Select and Patch a File and choose the AP file you just copied. Once selected, click on Let's Go. Now Magisk will start patching the file. This may take a moment. It depends on the size of the AP file. So just be patient and wait for the patching to finish. The files now patched and saved in the Downloads folder. Let's quickly check to confirm. And yes, here we have our Magisk patched file. Let's move this file to the PC. So I'll quickly copy the Magisk patched file and paste it inside the same folder where we extracted the original firmware. Once the file is copied, let's run the Odin Flash tool. Open the Odin folder and double click on odin.exe to launch it. Now inside Odin, follow these steps carefully. First, click on the BL button and select the BL file from the firmware folder. Next, click on the AP button and this time select the Magisk patched file, the one we just created. Now for the CSC file, you'll see two options, Home CSC and CSC. I recommend you go with CSC only. This will format all your data, which is better for a clean root process. Once all four files are selected, it's time to move to the phone screen and put your device into download mode. But before that, we need to enable developer options by tapping on build number seven times. Once enabled, go back and open developer option. 
Now make sure the bootloader is unlocked. If you're not sure how to do that, I've made a separate video. Just watch that first and then come back here. Once the bootloader is unlocked, make sure USB debugging is turned on. It's needed for Odin to detect your device. Once enabled, it's time to boot the device into download mode. First, connect your device with PC and restart your device. When the Samsung logo disappears, press and hold both volume up and down buttons simultaneously until you see blue screen. Now press and hold volume up button for 3 seconds and your device will boot into download mode. It's time to flash the files, so let's move to the PC screen. Simply click on the start button to begin the flashing process. Odin will start flashing the files. This typically takes about 8 to 10 minutes. Once flashing is done, you will see pass message. So let me quickly fast forward this for you. Alright, the flashing process is complete. As you can see, we got the pass message and my device is rebooting automatically. Keep in mind, the first boot might take a little longer than usual, so don't panic. Just be patient and let your phone boot up fully. Now, if you selected the home CSC partition, just like I did, there was a chance your device might get stuck in recovery mode after flashing. To fix this, simply use the volume keys to navigate to Factory Data Reset, then press the power button to confirm. Once the reset is complete, your device will reboot normally and take you to the initial setup screen, just like a brand new phone. To keep this video short, I'll go ahead and skip through all the setup steps. Let's fast forward to the home screen. Alright, we're back on the home screen and as you can see, Majisk is already there. If it asks for an update, just go ahead and update it. And yes, as you can see, Majisk is now installed and active. To be 100% sure, let me quickly download and install the Root Checker app. Root Checker app is now installed. Let's open the app now. Tap on Verify Root to check if your device has root access. And there it is. The message says, Congratulations! Root access is properly installed on this device. That means the rooting process was successful. And that's it. You've successfully rooted your Samsung device running One UI 7 on Android 15. If this video helped you out, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome tutorials. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.